That would be a surprise, wouldn't it? Take my old blades if you want a chance with that mockery of a Dax. That's right. During the whole Daviri Paradox announcement trailer and everything else, we found out Teshin is in fact still alive. He's inside of Daviri Paradox. Not only that, but take my old blades if you want a chance with that mockery of a Dax. Finally, after all these years, since the first time Teshin came into it, an unsheathed sun and moon, we get to play with his dual-wielding Nakana. Or so we all thought. Because as we found out during the dev stream, there are actually other melee weapons. A giant energy Nakana, a energy polearm style weapon, and an energy hammer. There is actually a fourth one, but I can't never remember what that is. Mainly because it doesn't actually look like it's energy based, it just looks like a single handed sword. But there is four new, as they put it themselves, drifter based melee weapons. Notice what the drifter has on his hips. Sun and, and it's gone. This is the area where you get to pick the diff the Drifter melee weapon. And they referred to it as the Drifter's melee weapon many, 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 many times. Which means Sun and Moon is going to be a Drifter only melee weapon. That is how it came across. That's how Digital Extreme basically advertised it. This hammer. Melee weapon for the Drifter. The Drifter melee weapons. Well, this is true, but also not true. As the magazine that basically announced when this is coming out, which if we go over down here, uh, you can find out for yourself when it releases in April. Uh, we're just going to slightly ignore the fact that this magazine came out on the 2nd of March, announcing the release of Daviri Paradox in April, the day before Digital Extreme themselves actually announced it. It would have been nice to have gotten a heads up from Digital Extreme in some way that this article was going to even exist, instead of finding out on the 3rd that it existed. Well, some people found out that it only existed when they kind of held it up in the dev stream and went, Ooh, we're on the front cover of PC Gamer Magazine again. That's like the third time in the past three years. But who's counting? End at the start. Long time players need not worry. There will be rewards they can take into regular Warframe. That is right, that's not the important part. Each of the unique melee weapons that the Drifter wields can be unlocked for your Warframe 2. That's right, Sun and Moon can in fact be equipped by your Warframe. And I'm so glad this is actually a thing, simply down to the fact that since July of last year, I've seen this footage so many times I'm getting sick of it and every time I've thought exactly the same thing. Oh, Sun and Moon, why's the drift I got it? Hopefully this is a weapon that the Warframes themselves can actually get a hold of. Well, it is. Sun and Moon, even though it's in the Drifter's hands, was confirmed in PC Gamer Magazine, not by Digital Extreme when they tried to show off the Viri gameplay. All of the Drifter melee weapons will be usable by Warframes themselves, which means Sun and Moon can in fact be wielded by a Warframe. This is great. Could go more in depth about the fact that the giant worm hovering around on Daviri you also get to take control of. But more importantly is Sun and Moon. We're finally going to have the double, the dual wielding Nakanas. They're not a prime, no, but they are from the era where, well, there wouldn't be a normal version of them. They were, confirmed by Digital Extreme years ago, a ceremonial thing. You couldn't build them, they were built for you. So this is basically Teshin giving us his Nakanas. It's not a ceremonial thing that we are getting them, no, but he is still giving us them. That, I loved that touch still do since they first showed this back in July of 2022. 
really, really like the fact that he gives it to us, rather than have to do lots of other things. But the rest of the melee weapons, was confirmed, will be usable by your Warframe outside of Daviri. And by the Drifter inside of Daviri. Instead of him having abilities like the Operator has, he's going to have his own set of melee weapons. I was about to say, you actually missed there, but never mind. Oh, I mean, I wanted that sword. The energy sword that we see sitting right there has been in the all of the trailers since 2019. The fact that we are going to get Sun and Moon is great. The fact it can be used by the operators, the uh, Drifter, and by the Warframes is great. I'm just more interested on in seeing how we are supposed to take control of that for a few seconds. But that was only skinned upon in the magazine, not by Digital Extreme themselves. And with that, I think we'll leave this off here. I've seen a lot of people complaining that they basically said these melee weapons for they were for the drifter and for the drifter only. I'm just confirming they're not just for the drifter. Digital Extreme told PC Gamer Magazine they will be wielded by Warframes as well. With that, we'll leave this off here. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.